Hey, happy Sunday, everybody out there in YouTube world. Just having a little fun today with my tactical Morella knife. You like that sound? <laughs> the tactical Morella knife. There we go. All right. I figure why not shoot a video? I got 10 minutes of my life to spare. All right. Let's go back to the table here. Thanks for joining me. So my big free day today turned out to be uh, basically busy, busy, busy. I really wanted to do a video on this knife here. The Moella 5161. Overall length, it's almost 11 inches. For about four years, I was under the impression that it was a, a rat tail. I just found out the other day it's a full tank. So, I don't know. You tell me. Apparently, this knife, it goes back to like, you know, the 80s, 90s. A lot of military guys use it, especially the Spanish military. Learn something new every day. So, check it out. Beautiful 420 high carbon. It's got the saw back on it. It's pretty darn sharp. You just see all that stuff I was, you know, pushing away. This would be an awesome camping knife. It really would. Six and a quarter inch blade. Made in Spain. It says on it, on the blade, made in Spain, Inox, I-N-O-X, Muella. I don't know if you guys can see that. I really enjoy this knife. It was my, it was my EDC today. See, I have my, uh, my sheath strapped up for my boot. All right, so we already did the dog walk. We already did all that good stuff. That's that's my little invention. But let's talk about this sheath. This is not the sheath that came with the knife. So I dug, it was in my shed. This was the sheath that came with the knife. I hated it. I mean, it just wiggled and jiggled, even with the retention strap, which I removed and put it on here only because it fits it fits better. The retention, this is the Buck 819 Signature Series sheath, leather sheath. That strap, it didn't fit around it when you put the knife in there. There it is, there it is. But I still save it, you know. Apparently this sheath was made for the, uh, the Buck uh, 119, so they call it the Buck 819 signature series it's a great sheath and with with this in here this is what you got even with the with the strap it was terrible so forget that sheath in here it's perfect it is perfecto ain't going nowhere no wiggle nothing so anyway back to the knife so for the longest time i thought it was full i mean a uh, rat tail now i'm here and it's uh full so a full tank 420 hc this makes for an awesome tactical knife it really does all right it's got a really nice sharp point and I've seen this I've seen this run from like $25 to like $75 I guess depending on where you're getting it from oh boy it's it really does take a nice bite out of it makes for an awesome awesome camp knife I don't know really what else to tell you, but I really do like this knife. 
it's got some sort of a OD green composite handle. And let's see, made in Spain, we already covered that. It's got a black finish Zama guard. It's a small guard, but it does a trick. I haven't used uh, the saw back, so let's just see. Let's just see. How does this saw back even work? I guess this is good for probably wire. Although, it is going through that wood pretty good. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with this. This is an awesome little knife. It really is. And I don't even know if I say that name right. Muella, is that right? And apparently there's a company called Ruko who are, I guess, exporting them. They're the uh, exporters or something. I read something about it, wasn't too sure. But um, I, I don't understand that. I, maybe somebody can learn me a little something. So anyway, forget this sheath, hated it. Replaced it with this sheath, the Buck 819 Signature Series. And uh, oh, apparently the Spanish military carried this. That's another thing I read about, if my memory serves me correctly. But um, overall, this was my uh, EDC today. As you see, I had it strapped up to my boot. And um, it's got a hell of a tip on it. And uh, that's really about it. So that's my really quick video for today. And uh, I will be back sometime, you know, later this week, hopefully, if not, the weekend and uh, I do want to talk about another knife that I was playing with and uh, my wife saw it and she goes what do you think you're doing with that tell me you're not walking the dogs with that one no I said I'm just taking it out to show everybody what we're gonna talk about next video this is the M tech USA Extreme MX 8070 18-inch Bowie knife. <laughs> All right, it's got an amazing, amazing leather sheath. I love it. it I wish it had little uh, liner hole there to you know strap it to my leg, but I can make one of those. There is some things I'm good at. Look at this beast. It's a full tanger, but we're not going to talk about it today. We're going to we're going to talk about that next video. But I love to end the video with just one, one, you know, water bottle trick. All right, here we go. So I probably won't do it next video. We'll we'll do another knife to end it. All right, this thing's pretty heavy. Wow, I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. What the hell? All right. That's just too funny. Did I hurt the blade? I did not plan on that. <laughs> okay, the blade still looks good. That was bizarre. Can't do that again if I try. <laughs> Too funny. Alright. Let me think about shooting this video. Wow. I need glasses, man. All right, until next video, everybody, let's be careful out there. And uh, I don't know, let me go think about this one. Take care. See you soon.